Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video to watch it. I'm super excited for today's video because today's video is about a web browser. I know, cheesy, right? What can I say? You know, but uh, I, I love my browsers. Uh, and so, you know, I, I can't wait to tell you about this new ones I've just been made aware of. But before we do that, don't forget to please hit the thumbs up button. It helps the channel, the subscribe button, and the notification button so that you guys see every video that I make. So today's browser that we're going to talk about a little bit first backstory everybody knows i'm a brave guy and i love the brave browser but it's gotten really clunky feels kind of slow um it's the great security in it everything you know all those pluses and minuses for it really but honestly it has i actually left brave and have been using vivaldi for a while because i've had issues with theming getting broke and all this kind of stuff so it's just aggravating i had issues I didn't like them. I got tired of fixing them over and over and over again. So I switched to Vivaldi and Vivaldi was great. I love Vivaldi. It's another Chromium based browser and it was, it's rock solid. I don't have a problem with it. I actually still use it. I enjoy it. But just recently I was, you know, watching another YouTuber out there, uh, a big one and uh, Chris Titus Tech. He came across this project that I feel like he does deserves a lot of credit you know it's it's a it's called thorium it's a chromium uh based browser that is as secure as brave that's the key thing it's very secure and it's not de-googled but it's still you can switch the search engine on it of course to to save it to whatever you want but it's still very 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 fast and it's i mean it's lightning quick um it's secure so that's you know that that's an important thing and you know there's a lot of stuff that he's stripped out and this developer has actually made on his own and so let's go ahead and i'll look let's give you the info on it so here we are we're looking at the info page on it right here man list of patches and changes uh that he included in thorium as you can see and so he did I mean, he did a lot under the hood, you know, MPEG dash, you know, ink for, you know, is disabled. It's kind of disabled due to bugs right now, but he's working on it. Uh, JPEG XL image file format is by default patch now. Um, live captioning, you know, he's even did the, he removed um, the uh, the VA API for, for Wayland patch. Um, it's in the arch, used to def you, it will use the, the default search icon for the search engine icon and Omnibox patch, uh, Intel HD support. I mean, he's done a lot. He's even did um, where he did the Widevine. He patched the Widevine, which for most people that don't know about Widevine, but Widevine is what um, actually is plays your DRM material online, like your Hulu and that kind of stuff. Um, he modified um, the search engine patches. He modified uh, uh, DuckDuckGo, Brave Search Engine, Ecosia, Ask, and Yandex, with uh, with DuckDuckGo being set as a canonic uh, set to canonical, so that canonical gets a small amount of money when when they're using it. Um, uh, you did the Chromium sandbox patch, you know, fixed, you know, the, the page icons. I mean, there's so much that he did. You can go over to his uh, GitHub and you can actually look at all these patches that he's did he, and he modified. Uh, it's insane what he did. And he makes it just makes it so much faster. Like from like even like, you know, your uh, into your HD encoding HVENC, uh H265 encoding has been, you know, he's been patched, you know, uh, and also for for audio and multi threading shit. So uh, he enabled AC3 and EAC3 for the for the MVEC patch. I mean, it's just it's just insane. He's done so much. He also did it for Android, you know, patches as well. So it is cross platform. Um, what's kind of cool is uh, also. Uh, if you go to Thorium's webpage, which is uh, Thorium uh, Rock dot Rocks, 
which it here claims to be the fastest browser on earth and I don't think he's lying. It's a Chromium fork for Linux, Windows, Mac OS, Android, and Raspberry Pi. And it's named after a radioactive element number 90 on the periodic table. But he's also done, if you look, he's got, you know, Thorium OS. He's got the Chromium story. Uh, Mercury browser is a Firefox fork where he did, he did what he did for Chromium, but he did it for Firefox. So if you're interested in that, if you're a Firefox person, you can look at the Mercury browser. Um, but what's interesting is you can see he's done all these things like Thorium Dino Channel, Thorium IRC Channel, Linux. This is where you get for the to download the actual files if you want to build it from source right here. Uh, Mac OS, Raspberry Pi, Android, and he even supports Windows 7, which is kind of wild. It's got Windows 7 development and support. So, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Uh what he's done with it so uh also um thorium os is actually a chromebook os uh so you can actually put it on a chromebook or a virtual machine or whatever and have like a chromebook uh os installed and up and running that i'm sure has just as many fixes under the hood uh for customization i'm sure and uh you know performance and also includes the thorium browser now he's also got a bunch of apps that he's created for extensions that he's created right here the which is this one here is like a system if you look at it it's like a system monitor right here it, you can click on it it tells you what your system resources are and how they're doing so there's that i mean it's 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 got a lot of it's got a lot this browser has a lot that he's done what i also like is if you look further down here he's got crunch bang plus plus scroll bars which is a scroll bar theme and he's got uh for the crunch bang plus plus linux then he's also got a calculator that he's done for thorium os i mean it's search uh themer as well uh it's, he's just done so much for 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 this os and other things so a big shout out to him for what he's doing uh please go donate to this guy because this project is going to need help uh, now let's go ahead and I want to show you how fast this thing is because it is amazingly fast. So let's go ahead and open a new tab. Let's just go to the Linux tube and watch. Bam. Look how lightning fast my library just loaded, right? Now let's just click on videos here. Let's go up here. Let's scroll, hit on videos. Look how fast. It's like instantaneously loaded all my videos. Well, not all of them, but you know, my first page of them. Uh, it, it is, it's insane. It is insane. Let's go to a bigger one. Let's go to LTT, who's got tons of videos, right? Let's go to his video section. Just like that. I mean, look how fast when you get to the bottom, they load. They just propagate so fast. You can go so fast for days. I mean, it's insane. It is absolutely insane how fast this browser really, really is. Uh, I mean, it's just, let's go to the Linux cast. Just check out his, I mean, see, look, videos, bam. You know, let's let's pick one and see how fast it, it starts to play. Just like that. Software management here, see? it will open up again another window. See? And it Boy, will Matt. refresh the repositories, see? and then you're here. I mean, it's, it's lightning fast. Thorium Browser. That's all I'm going to say. Thorium Browser is my new everything. It's it's amazingly fast. It's amazingly simple and clean and neat, and it, it's just fast. You, you just use your your exempt your your uh, extensions just like you do uh, your regular ones. He's got the cell phones. You could add the Chromium ones from the from the web store as well. They work. Oh, what I wanted to show you also is the settings. There you go. So with the pop up now, so what you do is you go to settings, and it's just like your your regular standard chromium settings where you can do your sync you can do all this stuff so there's nothing much to really be um confused about on that i mean like your 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 theme oh his thorium material dark theme is one that that i recommend to use it's very nice it's very clean it's elegant it's great uh the search engine of course you can change it from google to say duck duck go bing yahoo cozy ask whatever brave you know uh Whichever one you want. Um, Google's fine for me. I don't care. 
that you can make it your default browser on startup you can tell it what to do uh languages it's supported with tons of languages you know for downloads obviously you can tell it where to do your downloads all that good stuff i mean it's just lots of good stuff you know that you can uh, you know i mean this thing is so amazing and under the performance you got memory server you could turn on um you can even add websites so it'll it'll help you know manage them better you know using memory uh it's just yeah it's great for extensions um now say you go and you download his extensions over there uh off his web page you could download them you know from the github and then you could load the unpacked one is is where you can actually unzip it or untar it in, into a file or folder go in find the the, spe the specified file to, to run and launch it that way the packed extensions where you load the zip you look for the for the root directory and then you're good to go and then also you got an update button which will run an extensions update which will update all these extensions that are here so i i'm just telling you it is absolutely an amazing browser it has certainly been a, a game changer for me and the speed is fine i mean it's fantastically fine like let's type mexico and let's see how fast this loads bam that is like speedy fast um and let's go to let's go to images right those usually take a lot longer to load i mean that's fast let's click on an image I mean, look how fast that is. I mean, it's just insanely fast. I mean, it's just, it, it is, it, this is crazy fast. I mean, it is crazy, crazy fast. I, it's just simply astounding. Like, let's click on this map. Bam. Click on this picture right here. Bam. Click on that picture right there. Bam. I mean, it's, it's fast. It's, it's blazingly fast. So there you guys go. Give Thorium a try. Tell me what you guys think. Comment like down below. Um, you know, if you've heard of Th Thorium before, hey, why didn't you tell me about it? That's all I'm asking. Why? Why? Why not? Uh, it, and also tell me what your experience is on it, man. Leave a comment down below. If you haven't, but you're going to try, please try it and then tell me what your experience is down below. Uh, it is bar none. I, it, this is a game changer right here. It really is. I'm ready to go back to. I'm ready to go th to this over Vivaldi. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with Vivaldi, but this reminds me so much of what Brave used to be, and I like it. I like it a lot. So until then, until the next one, I will tell you to keep on doing what you do. Keep on linking. Stay blessed, and above all, I will see you in the very next one.